What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to show you guys a cert that CompTIA is currently cooking up to release pretty soon. Let's check it out. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys a new cert that's coming from CompTIA that I was very interested in when I actually saw it. And it's one of these certifications that I actually want to look into to actually take in the future once they actually release it. But it's called the CompTIA Data Plus Certification. And it's supposed to be a cert that competes with like the Tableau uh, certification that they have out there as well as the Microsoft uh, Certified Data Analyst Associate Certification. And as we know, CompTIA certifications are vendor neutral. So it'll pretty much cover all the topics that you would get within these other specialized certifications based on the vendor. And don't worry, I'm not sponsored by CompTIA. I'm just giving my honest opinion as well as the details of this actual certification because I thought it was super interesting. And you guys know I'm a database administrator. And so data is something that I actually look into as well as certifications that come out that are related to working with data. So let's hop over to the website of this certification so I can show you guys the details of this certification. Okay, cool. So I'm on at CompTIA's website. You can go down and uh, check it out. You can search on their website and you can find it, but it's the CompTIA Data Plus exam and as you can see the exam code is dao or da0-001 so it's the first in the iteration it's a new cert certification that they're planning on releasing pretty soon so let's go through the overview of it and basically it says comptia data plus is a early career data and analytics certification for professionals tasked with developing and promoting data driven business decision making so, like I said, it was interesting to me. I thought I should share it with you guys. And if I take it pretty soon, you know what I'm saying? Or whenever it's released, then I'll go on and uh, give you guys some details and possibly do a course showing you guys how to actually pass this certification if you're interested in data. But it says it differentiates yourself with data plus um, better analysis and in interpret data so mine data more effectively analyze with rigor uh, avoid confounding results but it also says communicate insights so highlight what's important produce reports that persuade not confuse uh, help teams make better data driven decisions uh, it also states uh, demonstrate competency make yourself a more valuable team member proof of data literacy meaning means you're more employable and more upwardly mobile and it says what you'll learn with data plus so that's the next question right there but as you can see it says data plus will launch february 28 2022 so next month is when this actual certification will be released and then right here it says CompTIA Data Plus gives you the confidence to bring data analysis to life. So it goes through and this is some of the skills required to facilitate data driven business decision, including mining data, manipulating data, visualizing and reporting data, applying basic statistics methods and analyzing complex data sets while adhering to governance and quality standards throughout the entire data life cycle. So this is some of the skills you will learn by actually taking it. It says data concepts and environments, um, visualization, data mining, data governance, quality, basically all those, uh, what we showed up here before in the data analysis. So, and then here are some of the organizations that recommend or teach data plus. So discover PayPal, cores.com, uh, Rogers, uh, CDW, and Molina Healthcare, uh, jobs that use CompTIA Data Plus. So here are some of the jobs that, you know, you may be interested in getting 
if you have this certification or you'll qualify for if you have this certification but it says data anal analyst uh, reporting analyst business data analyst which i've done a lot of these jobs i've done data analyst jobs they pay hundred thousand dollars a year reporting analysis well it depends where you are in your career i'm not going to say they all are a hundred thousand a year you know it could be from like 70 up to you know a hundred thousand depending on what level you are uh reporting analysis you know i've seen guys make 70 80 you know ninety thousand a year doing that stuff business data analysts uh so and a lot of these jobs are entry level you know what i'm saying and they're not gonna start you there if you don't have any other experience you know at a hundred thousand but it'll at least get your foot in the door you know what i'm saying and like i said this is a new cert so i won't tell you you're 100 100 percent will get higher if you have this certification but it does look good anytime you have a certification that's directly tied to what you're applying for that shows the initiative that shows that you have some base knowledge that a company can actually work with in order to improve upon your skills you know when you get there so and this is better than coming, you know, into the interview with nothing. You know what I'm saying? At least you'll understand the concepts, especially if you're very new to working with data and getting into this field. Now, here are the exam details. And as you can see, it launches, you know, February 28, 2022. Uh, you got 90 questions, uh, multiple choice, performance based, 90 minutes, 675 is a passing score. So and it rates it from 100 to 900. Uh, then you have CompTIA recommends 18 and 24 months of experience in report business analysis, you know, job roles, exposure to databases and analytical tools, a basic understanding of statistics and data visualization experience. And then it says English, you know, the language uh, retirement, you know, we all know that CompTIA, you know, retires tests after about three years or so. Uh, and then they also have the testing environments. You could take it from home. So online testing as well as the testing center. And then they haven't came out with the price yet. It'll probably be, you know, I would I would guess, you know, like 200 bucks, you know, for this exam. But as you can see, how does this come to your data plus compare? I kind of wanted to show you guys this, but it says SAS certified specialized visualization, visual business analytics. So vendor neutral is that's basically, you know, just showing you based on the other exams that it compares to. Uh, so as you can see, they're all beginner level uh, exam fo focus. So transfer business requirements and support of data driven decisions and all of these are, you know, kind of tied to a specific vendor. Like this is SAS, uh, this is Tableau, and this is, you know, Microsoft Power BI, you know, all that stuff. So uh, this will give you general if you get uh, the one from CompTIA. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not sponsored by CompTIA anyway, so. I don't have any type of bias or whatever, but I just want to show you guys there. But it says exam preparation, exam preparation. Uh, CompTIA offers a web for certification training and design. So they will have some training based on what they're saying, as well as the renewal. Once you get it, you can get CEUs that will renew it. Uh, so you get to go. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys this actual certification. Super cool uh, looking certification. And I definitely wanted to at least show you guys this information that will be out there for people that are trying to get in the data field. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And if you guys are interested in learning the Linux operating system, I just recently released a introduction to Linux course. So go down and check that out. It's basically on my channel, so check it out if you're interested. And it's 100% free. But I hope you guys have a good and productive week. And of course, keep it techy.